Chapter 1, The Meaning of Miracles Principles of Miracles There is no order of difficulty in miracles. One is not harder or bigger than another. They are all the same. All expressions of love are maximal. Miracles as such do not matter. The only thing that matters is their source, which is far beyond evaluation. Miracles occur naturally as expressions of love. The real miracle is the love that inspires them. In this sense, everything that comes from love is a miracle. All miracles mean life, and God is the giver of life. His voice will direct you very specifically. You will be told all that you need to know. Miracles are habits and should be involuntary. They should not be under conscious control. Consciously selected miracles can be misguided. Miracles are natural. When they do not occur, something has gone wrong. Miracles are everyone's right, but purification is necessary first. Miracles are healing because they supply a lack. They are performed by those who temporarily have more for those who temporarily have less. Miracles are a kind of exchange. Like all expressions of love, which are always miraculous in the true sense. The exchange reverses the physical laws. They bring more love to both the giver and the receiver. The use of miracles as spectacles to induce belief is a misunderstanding of their purpose. Prayer is the medium of miracles. It is a means of communication of the created with the Creator. Through prayer, love is received, and through miracles, love is expressed. Miracles are thoughts. Thoughts can represent the lower or bodily level of experience, or the higher or spiritual level of experience. One makes the physical, the other creates the spiritual. Miracles are both beginnings and endings and so they alter the temporal order. They are always affirmations of rebirth, which seem to go back but really go forward. They undo the past in the present and thus release the future. Miracles bear witness to the truth. They are convincing because they arise from conviction. Without conviction, they deteriorate into magic, which is mindless and therefore destructive or rather, the uncreative use of mind. Each day should be devoted to miracles. The purpose of time is to enable you to learn to use time constructively. It is thus a teaching device and a means to an end. Time will cease when it is no longer useful in facilitating learning. Miracles are teaching devices for demonstrating it is as blessed to give as to receive. They simultaneously increase the strength of the giver and supply strength to the receiver. 
Miracles transcend the body. They are sudden shifts into invisibility, away from the bodily level. That is why they heal. A miracle is a service. It is the maximal service you can render to another. It is a way of loving your neighbor as yourself. You recognize your own and your neighbor's worth simultaneously. Miracles make minds one in God. They depend upon cooperation because the sonship is the sum of all that God created. Miracles, therefore, reflect the laws of eternity, not of time. Miracles reawaken the awareness that the spirit and not the body is the altar of truth. This is the recognition that leads to the healing power of the miracle. Miracles are natural signs of forgiveness. Through miracles, you accept God's forgiveness by extending it to others. Miracles are associated with fear only because of the belief that darkness can hide. You believe that what your physical eyes cannot see does not exist. This leads to a denial of spiritual sight. Miracles rearrange perception and place all levels in true perspective. This is healing because sickness comes from confusing the level. Miracles enable you to heal the sick and raise the dead because you made sickness and death yourself and can therefore abolish both. You are a miracle, capable of creating in the likeness of your creator. Everything else is your own nightmare and does not exist. Only the creations of light are real. Miracles are part of an interlocking chain of forgiveness, which, when completed, is the atonement. Atonement works all the time and in all dimensions of time. Miracles represent freedom from fear. Atoning means undoing. The undoing of fear is an essential part of the atonement value of miracles. A miracle is a universal blessing from God through me to all my brothers. It is the privilege of the forgiven to forgive. Miracles are a way of earning release from fear. Revelation induces a state in which fear has already been abolished. Miracles are thus a means and revelation is the end. Miracles praise God through you. They praise Him by honoring His creations, affirming their perfection. They heal because they deny body identification and affirm spirit identification. By recognizing spirit, miracles adjust the levels of perception and show them in proper alignment. This places spirit at the center where it can communicate directly. Miracles should inspire gratitude, not awe. You should thank God for what you really are. The children of God are holy and the miracle honors their holiness, which can be hidden, but never lost. I inspire all miracles, which are really intercessions. They intercede for your holiness and make your perceptions holy. By placing you beyond the physical laws, they raise you into the sphere of celestial order. In this order, you are already perfect. Miracles honor you because you are lovable. They dispel illusions about yourself and perceive the light in you. They thus atone for your errors by freeing you from your nightmares. By releasing your mind from the imprisonment of your illusions, they restore your sanity. 